With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken about the 12. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. This is Saquon Barkley. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down, here's Barkley. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And yeah, they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Murray now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Murray now on first down, and he's got the hook up to Landry. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Carry for Barkley, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. On second and 12, Murray. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Throwing is Murray on third down. Goes for the right side here, complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Now Saquon Barkley down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. The last run got six, now second and four. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And it's 7-0 Buffalo.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. It's a second down run with Sanders. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the tuck and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And down to the 44, five yards that time. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and our drive continues here to start quarter number two as they are looking at a second and five situation. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Check 99. Check 99. Cunningham looking to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon, intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things that I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Here's Murray from midfield. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's the Hall of Famer, Lawrence Taylor, doing what he does best. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of... And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A big play there. 56 yards. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Goskowski with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seventh. 
And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Off play action. It's Cunningham. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's such an impressive first half to get that lead. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Now Cunningham. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Nick Bosa. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now Cunningham. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On the draw, here's Sanders. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On fourth down, Cunningham. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A play fake. Now Cunningham. This is Clark. Clark. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Dallas Clark. As the first half is winding down, as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Murray. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better than it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Cunningham to throw. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. Here's Cunningham. He'll get it in the hands of Clark. Complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Cunningham. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. Now Cunningham has the ball knocked down. Now this is picked up by the Bills. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Yeah, he did. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. 
If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them. And make Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Murray and company going for it on fourth. Over the middle complete. That's Holt. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. About three yards there to the 27. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. DK Metcalf, 27 yards. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Goskowski for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll run with Sanders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. On first down, it's Sanders. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. And an alley to run. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 43. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Cunningham from the gun. He's airing it out for Williams. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 33 yards that time. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out as his guys are back within a single score. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. Yeah, he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage 
how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. On the run, it's Barkley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Barkley. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing on second down. Murray. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Murray with a third and long. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. Eluding the pressure right. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Sanders. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 30. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon as they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. Critical extra point up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. To throw again on second down. Murray complete. Hunter Henry with the ground. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. Murray now, 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, Murray. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are gonna have a first down. They'll run on first down. Barkley, this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Murray to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. It's now third and 13. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. They'll try and run with their fullback. And an alley to run. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield. He's got a man complete. Brandon Cooks. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you.